I feel that my own personal leadership journey truly accelerated when I got promoted to management position and that it had three learning phases so far, the phases which are still present today. I moved to a new role in the system, uh, which requires a different set of skills and behaviors. I started to lead a team for the first time. And honestly, I was fighting with my personal fear if I will justify the expectations. So it was hard and it was hard in a different way. Um, and sometimes it felt more like Sisyphean task. So the first learning phase was about my professional development, about stakeholder management, the people development, leading a team, which was the hardest part. I was investing my time to help the team learn, um, to build a culture of trust, of commitment and freedom. Uh, I, today I believe that I learned how to build effective teams, uh, but I also believe I learned um, about bad judgment, about um, how investing sometimes in great talent doesn't always match the ambition of the talent of that person. Um, how um, making an effort for the sake of peace is sometimes just bad performance management. And I believe that this is actually when the, the second phase uh, begins, which is the phase of uh, deep introspection. I started to work with my coach to understand where does it coming from, but to also understand truly what are my motivators, my drivers, what are the values actually uh, that are behind all that. So I sat down one day and actually I wrote down what type of leader I want to be. And it went something like this. Yes. I want to be a happy leader, happy with myself, with my job, with my life, with my family. Uh, I want to be innovator and a change leader, uh, a leader who is always curious, but truly curious, and the leader who is open to diversity, diversity of opinions of people and the way of working. So I learned, I learned uh, as a team leader that you need to care, um, that you need to feel make people feel safe and secure, especially in, in the world of chaos, uh, that you need to be compassionate and patient, and that you always need, time, need to have time for meaningful conversation, no matter what is happening. Um, that you don't need a manual to be a team leader in the work world, you just need to be human and treat the team needs the same way as your needs. Uh, I learned as innovator um, that Unexpected circumstances make us innovate more than usually, you know, and this is something that we need to nurture also when the times are good. Um, that need for ongoing curiosity versus responding to challenges and opportunities which are coming along the way. As a change leader, um, that we all have unused capacity to change. When the COVID started, we all waited for it to end, you know, longing for the good old security. But instead of security, it's about how to make the change light. Uh, embrace it as part of everyday life and work and um, which results actually in better solutions and less stress. As a happy person, um, I learned that we all need to understand our blockers, you know, how they're making us judge ourselves, the others and the circumstances. I learned about empathy towards myself, about my controller, my stickler, my hyper-rational side, how to move faster from things which happened in the past and uh, not to feel the burden of something that might or might not happen in the future. So all in all, I learned how to be a better version of myself.